What's going on guys, Fuller from Custom Offices, Custom Offices TV on YouTube with Dustin, back for another video. So what are we doing today? Oh yeah, from the gallery. Uh, so we take your trucks that you added to the gallery, rate them on a scale of one to 10, or is it zero to 10? I forget how we do this. I think it's one to one 10. One to 10. Never given a zero. Yeah, one being not so good, 10 being super duper awesome. Uh, and we're gonna try to kind of run through these in a speed round for you so we don't make the video too long. Good? Let's do it. All right, 2011 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD, Stealth Forge Revolt. I've actually never heard of those, 24 by 14s. Federal Explorer MTs, the 37 by 13 and a halfs, uh, on a custom CST lift. Bigger than 12 inches. She's big. A lot of chrome going on in the front. Uh, he's got the like blacked out, but yeah, I think there's chrome. The, like, like the reflectors. Yeah, housings, chrome reflectors. Yeah. Hidden light bar, or not hidden light bar, but light bar, like flush mount. Mm -hmm. Powder coated suspension, two inch wheel spacers on the front and rear, and a little bit of squat. Not, not a whole lot, just a little bit. Yeah. Looks like aftermarket taillights, Florida truck. This looks like a Florida truck. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. One minute, 37 seconds later. <laughs> much, much, much later. It's very, very intensely processed. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Number. Ready? Good. Yep. Three, two, one, seven. seven. Tie game. I had a debate on that one for a long time. It's a it's a very clean truck. I think what I would probably change is the chrome bumper on the front. My nice 2500 is just absolutely huge. It makes sense with the polished wheels, but I think you could get away with just a chrome grill and not do the chrome front bumper because it's just it's just massive. Yeah, I agree. A lot of chrome. Yeah. Other than that, it looks good. The suspension bits look really good. I love that splash of color. Love the custom built headlights. I yes. think that's cool. Love the color of the suspension. 2019 Toyota Tacoma Hostel Jigsaw, 22 by 12 negative 44. So that's a big wheel for Tacoma. Uh, 35 Furies on there and a six inch Procom. Tinted windshield, tinted windows, got a bow on the front. Very Christmassy. Merry Christmas. I love the color of this, like, uh, I don't know what they call it. It's like, it's like a, a, it's like a concrete, almost. cement, I don't know, gray, blue hue in it. TRD, and it's got the sport package. It's got the hood scoop. Ooh. That color reminds me of, like, Nardo gray with a gloss coat. Yes. It's like, yeah, it's like similar. a flat gray, but then it's shiny. It's cool. I like it. Slight over full turn, minor plastic trimming, splash guard. Nine removed. in the front, six in the back, it says. Oh, boy. It's got a little lean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see that now. That you you can definitely, yeah, you can tell. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, Six five. and a half. Bit low on the scale for me, just because I know uh, that 35s on a Tacoma require a lot of skinny pedal mm. to keep it moving. Even like stock form, they're not very fast trucks and they start throwing on a lot of extra weight, lift them up in the air. 22 by 12s, it's a lot of wheel. 35s are a lot of tire for Tacoma. And I've said it a million times, but Tacoma build, would prefer it if, if it was mine to be a little more off-roady. Overlander type setup, right? No, I like it. I like the color. Um, I like the wheel and tire package quite a bit. I don't do love like the wheel and tire package. I think it's a great pairing. Yeah, I, I'm not nuts about the lean. I don't. I'd prefer to see it level across all. I mean, all the way. Other than that, it, it's a nice build. I don't know where this is from because it's got a temporary plate on it, but uh, and it, it doesn't look like Hawaii. But for some reason. Leaned out Toyota Tacomas with big wheels is like a Hawaii thing yeah, that's, that's going on right now. I don't know what's up with that. Someone from Hawaii can probably enlighten us. <laughs> this is sick. 18 Tundra XD Bucks, uh, which you don't see a lot of actually. And some Desert Hawk XMTs, 35 by 12 and a half and a six inch rough country in this desert sand, desert tan color. Probably one of the best colors that Toyota makes. <laughs> I love the grill on here. Throwback to like the old FJ 40s. I think that's really cool. He's got the Tundra logo on the tailgate filled in. 20 by 14s nonetheless. Which you don't see a lot of. Not a lot of wheel manufacturers make a 20 that's 14, 14 inches wide. So you get a lot of width out of here, but they're not, you know, not super massive in diameter. So you do have a decent amount of rubber on 35s. So I wouldn't call this an off-road build because somebody would probably get angry if I did that. <laughs> but uh, looks like no spacers, no rubbing, but there's major metal trimming, which means on the trailer they probably did a, a body mount chop on here. That's pretty oh, common for these, right? Yeah. Chopping the body mounts? Yep. Otherwise, pretty pretty stock truck. Looks like window tint. It's got uh, black handles, black badges. 
I don't, I'm not sure if that's a factory package or if you dipped them or something like that, but sure. these wheels too come in a sweet double dark tint finish. So like it's almost the same tan bronzy kind of look that the truck's got going on, which is I think a good option for this truck. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, Eight nine. And a half. We're close. This thing's sick. I would yeah. totally drive one. Uh, I guess the only thing I can pick on is the 14 lines. I think I'm, I'd probably do a 20 by 12. Just gives you a little bit better uh, turning radius and whatnot because you don't have to worry so much about rubbing. Because yep. even with the the body mount chop on here, I think you're probably still going to run into a little bit of, uh, of rub, a rub, a full rub. crank. 19 Ram, 1500. We only got two photos to go off of that are very similar. Fuel Rebels, great looking wheel. We put some on Zach's truck. 20 by 10, negative 18, needle trail graps. Uh, probably one of the best mud tires, I think, mud tires on the market. Uh, Pro Comp 6 inch suspension lift, factory color matched, otherwise looks like pretty much just the start of what's going on here. He's got a, a marine plate on the front, so thank you for your service, we really do appreciate it. Generally, generally we do appreciate that. That's all we need to know. Pretty simple build, yeah, yeah. nothing too crazy. Yeah, I mean I feel like I can't give it a bad score because it's a good looking truck, mm -hmm. but at the same time, not a whole lot done. Not a whole lot. Okay. Let's do it. Three, two, one, Eight seven and, and a half. half. Okay. Yeah, again, pretty similar here. Uh, there's there's always room for more stuff on a truck that doesn't have a whole lot done to it. I mean, even as far as tint goes and, and all those kind of things. Add some aftermarket lighting, uh, whether it be pods, cubes, bars, wherever you're going to put it. Just kind of make it more your own, more so than just wheels and tires. Yeah, yeah I and think a lift, it's, but. it's a great start. I have a soft spot for these trucks. I was never a Mopar guy. And then Dodge just like, Until the fifth up. gen. Let me just throw this in there for you real quick. I don't want to look at it. What is it? Oh, My no. phone. Oh no. With no case. Oh no. Oh, we're good. So anyway, I really like that truck. I love this body style. Again, I didn't like them. And then Dodge was like, hey, surprise, look at these. And they look really good. Yeah. And those, I mean, those wheels are awesome. Yeah, big fan, big fan. Oh my Lord. <laughs> wow. 17 Ford Ranger. Uh, I'm guessing this is not from the United States. Yeah. It's wild. It's, wow. It's orange. It's got a custom front bumper. It's got a Ride Max lift kit, which I haven't heard of before. A four That's gotta inch. be bigger than four. It says four. You gotta remember this truck's really small and those are 35s. I don't know. It's hard to know when, the, when it's not, you know, we didn't have these things. I've never heard of option four wheel drive, but I can see it stamped right in the cross member. Mm -hmm. And then the skid plate too. Yep. Massive front bumper. It's got the recovery hook. It's got like the it. it's got like the Raptor style grill on it. Mm -hmm. Some big old fender flares. This like sport back. See how that extends oh, yeah, past the, the, the cab. Back. Yeah, and then it's got the snorkel. Big old on it. snorkel. Red accent fuels. Fuel strokes. With fuel tires too. It's all fuel about all about the fuel. All about the fuel. All right. Three, two, one, Nine. six. Mine. I like this thing. I don't know why I like this thing so much because normally I don't like mid-sized trucks, but this thing's freaking awesome. Um, not a huge fan. <laughs> Do appreciate all the work that went into this because um, there's a lot of stuff done here. I just, uh, I guess OCD when it comes to colors. <laughs> Can't put red wheels on an orange truck, in my opinion. Also guessing, probably gonna be a very similar story to the Tacoma where 35s on this truck are probably, probably pretty slow going as far as getting moving, because these things have a like a 2.3 liter oh, four yeah, cylinder. Probably not very fast. So probably not a whole lot happening there. Cool rig though. Yeah, I think, it's I, think I would neat. probably just pick different wheels for it and then uh, go full send. I wish there were some pictures of it off off roading, yeah. see if it's actually capable or not. But yeah, all the suspension very neat. look like it's made to be. Yeah, wheel, he's got know? he's got coilovers. 19 F350 Super Duty single rear wheel. Nino Ridge Wrap 37 by 12 and a half and ready lift suspension lift, three and a half inch. I'm guessing that's probably their SST kit. It uh, doesn't specifically say, but it's basically like a giant leveling kit. Okay. Uh, so you don't have to like cut up your truck, which is which is cool. Straight axle truck, a little different anyway, but fuel construct 22 by 10, so I say that? No, I you didn't did say not. that. Kind of a good looking wheel on this truck to make it like, I feel like this is like, you know, my dad's truck. He wants yeah. some, he wants some stuff done to it but you know, we can't go too crazy and he doesn't want those big lip wheels. So don't give me those big lip wheels. Cool concavity. Yeah, it ties really well with the body lines on this truck. Yeah, love the black grill. Factory option, but still think it looks good. It's got the uh, Ford logo blacked out and then with the red text in there, which is pretty slick. God, I love the headlights on these trucks. They're like square. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the 2020s? No. 
you might like those. All right. You know, let's check it out. Love the color as well, the truck in general. Yeah, that like deep red looks good. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, eight, eight and a half. I think I gave it eight and a half because you could, again, uh, you, there's a lot more that can be done on this as far as making it bigger, making it more show-like, if that's your thing. Um, also, not a huge fan of the aftermarket fender flares. I guess it's just a personal thing. I like the factory body lines. I think that looks the best, but did match up really well with the stance. So it's like pretty much perfectly flush. So if that's the look you're going for, which I'm assuming is what we're doing here, considering we got the concave wheels, uh, the fender flares line up perfectly. I'm guessing that's what we're doing. Also just love the fact that you can put 37s on basically a slightly larger than a leveling kit. <laughs> if you wild? really wanted to, if you had nine wide with a little less aggressive offset, 37s on a level. That's so wild to me. And that's like the newer three quarter and one ton trucks in general. Yeah. Um, Ford and Dodge both, you can just stuff crazy amounts of tire in there. Mm -hmm. Not Chevy though, cause you know, Chevy's gotta be Chevy Square. and just do their thing. And then they came out with new wheel wells that are like, look, they're rounded on top and then they go back to and square. And then they go back to square. So <laughs> uh, if you guys want your vehicle featured on an episode, you can add it to the gallery at customoffsys.com forward slash add. If you don't know what the gallery is, it's where we got all the specs for all the vehicles, for all the things that you need to make your stock truck look like one of these. So check that out. Uh, I think that's the spiel. Wheels, tires, suspension, customoffsys.com. Woo, peace.